everybody, this is Bianchi here. One of the things that we asked you to have is a soft zipper pouch. So I wanna just talk to you about what should go in it. Now, this particular one that I'm holding up is probably one of the better quality ones. This is one that actually lasted somebody all of last year and they donated it. So if somebody comes this fall and they need one, this might become yours. And what's nice about this is it actually has two zippers on the outside, which are helpful for things like your earbuds and for things that have wires like uh, the, some of you like to use a mouse. So here's an example of what students typically buy. Looks like this. And the reason why I like this is because it has a little window where you can see what's in it. But let's talk about what's inside it. And what does that have to do with what you got off of Parent Square? Because you got something that looks like this, the sixth grade supplies list for the year 2022-23. And uh, there were a lot of things that we asked you to put in your soft pencil case with a zipper. So do you see the items that are below that, that direction? Let me hold this a little closer. Those are the items that we're talking about. Now, the one thing I can say, it does say one box of 24 colored pencils. I really don't think that that's reasonable to have inside your soft zipper pouch. I think you should just keep that separate and put a rubber band around it because many of you have had the experience of having your uh, pencils spill all over the floor. So a rubber band going around it on the vertical end can help prevent that from happening. So what do we actually recommend that you have in it for our classes? So one of the things that I definitely, we're gonna be using our Chromebooks a lot. So you really need to have um, a mouse. And if you get a wireless mouse, chances are the battery is gonna die. These are good because they have the retractable wire on it. They're, they're, it's kind of small. This is perfect. So I think I got this at, um, at big lots actually and they range in price from five to maybe ten dollars but i think the average price for something like this is about seven dollars so the retractable cord that's best all right since we're going to be doing a lot on dry erase i always recommend that you have at least two of these in your soft zipper pouch at any given time and when one dries up you want to go in your locker or wherever you're going to keep your extras and replenish so you should always have two well working dry erase markers in your soft zipper pouch at all times we recommend that you have a couple of uh, highlighters. So I don't use these so much in my class, but I'm pretty sure Mrs. Coe's uses these pretty often. So um, you might even want to have a couple different colors. You would want to have um, Sharpie. So we, we ask, actually want you to have two different kinds. So the art teacher wants you to have one of these, you know, super fine ones, the extra fine point for art class. But we recommend that you also have one that has more of a blunt tip on it like this because we're gonna ask you to label all your stuff and it's good to have the, both these to do that. And then for math, I prefer that you get the mechanical pencils, um, but if you, have, if you prefer the ones that you sharpen, you know, my sharpener in the classroom is not very high quality. So um, if you do have the kind that sharpen, then we do ask that you get one of those self-contained. This is one where you put your, your pencil in the little hole down here and twist it and crank and all the shavings stay in the little compartment. And then you go ahead and dump that in the garbage can. So if you're not going to get this and you're getting a regular pencil, then make sure you get one of these. Now, are you allowed to sharpen your pencil in class using the classroom sharpener? Absolutely. But sometimes this is just a nice inconspicuous way to sharpen your pencils. All right. So by the way, we recommend two of them. Um, so if you get the, the more expensive kind that don't have the disposable, you know, you maybe get one of these so you can refill it. But I think some of them are disposable when it, the ink is, or the ink, the lead is done with it, you just throw it out. All right, so you definitely need some pencils. Helpful to have a pair of scissors, so you don't need anything too big, you know, something about this size would be good. I think it would be adequate just to have one glue stick for now in your soft zipper pouch, because to be perfectly honest, in math and science class, we don't use this very often. I think Mrs. Cozy uses it once in a while. So we asked you to have two, just keep one in your soft zipper pouch and the other one you can just keep in your locker for when this dries up. Of course you need pen, gotta have a pen. Have one that, you're, that you write neatly and it's comfortable for you. The art teacher would want you to have this style eraser. However, um, I think I have ones that have the pink on here somewhere in my drawer, I can't find it right now, but this, this will cover you for both art and math. And we recommend, even though it says to keep two of these, one should be adequate because we don't use these very often. Just one pack of the three inch, the three square inch size are good. And then if you have an old sock or even an old mitten, 
Um, we recommend you have that because we're going to be using dry erase and you have to have something to wipe your board off, wipe the stuff off. So, um, of course, paper towel is fine. You can keep a paper towel for a while in your soft zipper pouch. And then when it gets a little bit nasty, then you just go ahead and throw that out and, you know, replenish it. Now, some people like to get these kind of cases for their earbuds because we are asking that you have earbuds. And the kind that we'd like you to get are just the simple ones that are like this, the ones that plug in. Um, the ones that plug in. So let me show you the end on that. So it just plugs into your Chromebook. You know, there's a spot for you to plug that in. Now we, some of you probably have earbuds like this. So I'm just going to open these up and show you if you've never seen. Oop, there we go. Some of you have these, but we're not recommending these at all for, for several reasons. Um, obviously one is the fact that they need to be recharged and, you know, these are not ideal. The, the ones that have the plug in are much better. All right, and helpful, although not necessary, a roll of tape would be helpful. Don't get anything too big because it won't fit. But if it doesn't fit, just keep it in your locker because we only use this once in a while. All right, and I did mention um, on another video that I made, but the, the agenda that's going to be given to you by the PTA, I'm just going to hold this up. This is what it looks like. Inside, there's a page that has a schedule. However, the schedule is wrong. So what Mrs. Coase and I are going to do, we will give you one of these and you can glue stick it um, in a spot where you can easily find it, perhaps even on the page that has the wrong schedule. You know, if that's not too inconvenient, that's probably going to be best for you to put it there. But this is the schedule that we're going to be following. And if you look at period two, period two is going to be different for us because at about 9.12, between 9.12 and 9.15 is when we switch so we really run for a period and a half in the morning and then another period and a half for the second session. So periods one through three, um, you're, you know, you're occupied either with me for, for half that time or Mrs. Coase for half that time. And then we, we, we switch. That'll make more sense on day one of school. All right. Now, other thing that I should mention um, about fold, like what did, what has been purchased for you by the school store as a convenience? What's been purchased? They bought folders math, green is science, and social studies is yellow. And also for your convenience, a red spiral notebook was purchased for all students by the school store. So they are expecting to get their money back for, you know, it's, it's a $10 fee for all of these things. Um, so if for some reason you actually purchase these, then just come speak with me about it and we'll figure out what we're gonna do because the, the school store needs to be reimbursed for the lots of money that they spent to try to get everybody ready. And of course, you're gonna need that take home folder. You wanna put your name on it and your room number. So room 103, if you're in Mrs. Coase's room, room 104 for um, Mrs. Bianchi's room, which is me. And then you'll be given your iReady math workbook. If you're a fifth grader here, you probably have seen these before. To be perfectly honest, in my math class, I'm not a big fan of these workbooks just because the workspace is often inadequate. So a lot of times we'll be working off dry erase boards or even in the red spiral notebook. Um, but, you know, if there's a substitute in the room, especially you would want to have this ready to go in class. And let's see if there's anything. I think that's it. All right. So looking forward to having you on day one of school. Um, just get that soft zipper pouch kind of ready to go. You know, get this filled. And if you happen to have some way of putting your name on your soft zipper pouch, that's very helpful too. But I don't know if the Sharpie will actually should work. You know, get your name on there. It'd be great. All right, so we'll see you on day one of school.